What up guys? Uh, I'm installing throttle cable on this Gravely 34 and this is not the original engines. These originally came out with, we can look over here, this this is about the same. These originally came out with the Kawasaki engines on them and uh, anyway a stock throttle a stock throttle cable on these would be too short so we're putting on a Stins 29163 I'll put a link to it down in the description but I'm going to show y'all how to do this because these don't come with the Z-Bins because they're universal so I'm going to show y'all how to do the Z-Bins on this for to install this with some cool tools I'll put the link for this in there and then you're gonna need some cutters so stay tuned guys hopefully y'all can see this I'm looking at the GoPro through my uh, phone so hopefully we can get a better video of this and I'll hold this kind of out here and I'll lift the camera up I don't know why it has to be windy hopefully y'all can hear what I'm saying anyway there's throttle cables all the way out and this is going to be the idle position see this is all the way this is idle right here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold that up there and see right about where i want to cut it and then i'm going to cut a little extra out past it for the z bend and if it's too much I can always adjust it in the <sighs> Now we can take the Z bin tool. I'll put the link to the description for it and uh we're gonna make our bend you just go like that you're making the 90 degree and you come over well y'all can see this you gotta go over into that groove right there and you're gonna bend it again like that mount and then you got your z bend for your cable uh you could probably take and snip this off and make it a little shorter but i think you're okay with it and then you just stick it in there and then you can you can adjust from the cable where you want for more you should be okay so that's pretty much that it's a pretty handy tool. It makes the Z-Bend a little bit bigger than I want it. But I've been using this tool for a few years now. And it works great for this. I will uh, go ahead and get this installed back on there. I'll install it up there and I'll start it and show y'all how it idles and that'll be that but if you're gonna make throttle cables guys I recommend buying this tool and of course you need side cutters so what I didn't show y'all is when I put it back together and the fight I had to get this off well, that was fun but it's all back on. Uh, it's all hooked back up there. So we'll start her up real quick. You know, I can hear it run and we'll end this. Yeah, and I know it has an exhaust leak. A leak. I told the customer about it. 
he don't want to do he don't want to don't want it fixed so we'll just leave it be we can only you can only recommend things to people they don't have to do it so anyway that's fixed uh hope y'all learned something anyway thanks everybody for watching if you ain't already hit that subscribe button hit that bell hit that like button see y'all later guys